if I had to name one film that I cannot watch anymore, it's Goodnight Mr. Tom. I've seen this film many times in my childhood, partly through choice. I had the VHS and it's also one that we were shown at school frequently because I studied the Second World War during numerous um, occasions and this was a film that tended to be shown to us as a wet afternoon treat, I guess. Now I say treat. This is one of the most incredible films I've ever seen. But I cannot watch it anymore because I cry so much. So if you haven't seen the film, it was released in 1998. And it's directed by Jack Gold with um, a screenplay by Brian Finch. And it's based on the novel by Michelle McGorry. And I haven't read the novel. I don't know if I will because I might cry. Um, But it's apparently a children's novel. So I might look into it and just see how it compares to the film. The description from IMDb is as follows. A shy and quiet World War II, World War II evacuee is housed by a disgruntled old man and they soon develop a close bond. So it's World War II, children are getting sent to the countryside and Tom takes in this young boy, William. And, you know, he doesn't really want to, but he's going to do his bit anyway. But soon, through drawing and finding out things about William, Tom actually becomes quite fond of him. And it's all about their relationship growing together during the war and him helping William to really become a better person and introduce him to different things in life. William's a a very inquisitive character. He's a great artist. He's got a lovely talent and a great attitude. He calls him Mr. Tom, which it just gives him such a childlike innocence because even though Tom insists he calls him Tom, he calls him Mr. Tom. And he's very polite, very well-mannered, a little bit mischievous and cheeky at times. He's very likeable. And that's, that is what makes what happens oh, um, very difficult. It's, it's hard to talk about it without welling up and wanting to break down in tears. And I also can't spoil it. I refuse to spoil anything for you. And basically, if you've seen it, you will know what I mean. When they go back to, well, away from the countryside, something happens that's very painful, very hard to watch, very raw and very emotional. And it's kind of what the film's building up to. And it's heartbreaking and shocking and disturbing and very difficult, very difficult to watch. Now, this is a PG. And that scene, I'm surprised it's a PG. Because I need more than my parents' guidance to watch that. It's... It's painful, but it's wonderful. That scene is very well done. The film builds up to it quite secretively. I think when you watch it a second, third, fourth time, you can maybe see elements that could suggest what happens. But I think for the most part, it's not obvious. It comes as quite a shock. And the way Tom handles this is so admirable and so lovely. And I cried buckets, you will too. So the narrative is amazing. The acting is splendid. John Thaw as Mr. Tom is... He's absolutely sensational in this. Nick Robinson as William has a, a great energy. And I have to say... Annabelle Apesian, who plays William's mother... Gives an incredible performance. She really, really does. Very captivating. It is an award-winning film, which is... No real surprise. And it won the... BAFTA... For the Liu Grade Award. It won the NTAs for Most Popular Drama. And John Thaw won won Most Popular Actor. And it also won the Television and Radio Industry Club Award. For the ITV Program of the Year. Because this this did air on ITV. I have to say as well. The costumes are incredible. I'm just going to see if I can very quickly find out. Who heads the costume department. Because it really gives off that. Off that. World War Two vibe. You do feel like you're watching little evacuee children. It's just, it's absolutely everything. Costume is by Elizabeth Waller, who has done quite a lot of costume work. So it's beautiful. The vibe is so realistic. The emotion is like nothing I've ever seen. And as I said, I can't, I can't watch this anymore. I refuse to watch this. Because 
I've seen it so many times that it's just, you know, you know what's coming and you get to the point where you think, okay, I have an hour until the climax. I have 50 minutes until the climax. You're just sitting, waiting, watching. It's, it's hard. It's very difficult to watch, but that makes it so compelling and so amazing and such a fantastic achievement in cinema. Good Night, Mr. Tom is one of the most emotional films I've ever seen, but it's also one of the most incredible.